Hello YouTube, Matthew here. I just want to do a quick video about a item I just purchased called a ground loop isolator, which is this device right here. It sits in between the RCA cables. Okay, so I just want to do the quick version of this video, uh, and then I'll kind of give you some examples of what I'm talking about. Okay, so... um. I'm using a Windows PC Focusrite 2i2 and some speakers here, some studio monitors. So I had these studio monitors connected before to my Macintosh computer. I didn't have any issues with them, but then I got a new PC computer because it has a faster processor, you know, more memory, all that jazz. And um, when I did that, there was this noise that came out of these speakers, and it was a, it was a horrible noise. It's like a high-pitched noise, and every time you move the mouse or the um, hard drive moves, it, it just creates this buzzing. And um, I did a bunch of research online, and, uh, and I was told to make sure everything was grounded, so I used this thing to make sure my outlets were grounded. You just plug it into your outlet. And then basically, these two orange lights come on if it's grounded. And all my outlets are grounded. So that didn't have anything to do with it in that, in that fashion. So then I tried to like bring a, an extension cable from the other room and bring them into the, to this room here. And tried, tried doing it that way. That didn't help. I tried different plugs, different outlets tried wire, wiring things differently. I did a whole bunch of stuff and nothing worked. And um, I looked up a bunch of YouTube videos and no one I saw uh, came up with this solution. I saw people who said, make sure yourself grounded. Um, I saw somebody actually take the grounding uh, prong out of their speaker power cable. And... Um, you know, a few different things. That's the main two things I saw people do to get rid of the issue. But um, I wanted to keep my stuff grounded. <clears throat> now, uh, this is what I bought. It is um, from Radio Shack. It just says Lot Audio System Ground Loop Isolator. So basically, the long version short is... I got that and it eliminated the sound. But I want to show you what I'm talking about. Right? So, nothing's connected now. I'm about to connect my speakers to my audio input. And instantly you can hear a high pitch frequency coming from the speakers here. Now, it's kind of mellow. Actually, it's not. I see instantly when I move the mouse, it starts activating. But now I'm going to try to load a plug in. See what happens. So basically, it's that horrible noise. High, pre high pitch frequency. I'm sure that you can hear it. So what I'm going to do is switch out this cable. Now I tried different cables. I tried quarter inch cables, RCA cables. Uh, my particular speaker system here could take RCA or as a combo quarter inch jack. I'm just gonna plug these RCAs directly in there. And then now I'm plugging plugging them into the speaker monitor or the um, audio card and you notice nothing let me try to load up a different plug-in nothing no sound beautiful and then speakers are turned up so basically that solved my issue I'm, I'm doing this video because um, nobody 
came up with the solution that I found on YouTube and I did tons and tons and tons of searches. Now uh, this, this particular one is for is the Radio Shack Ground Loop Isolator and um, it says for use with car and home audio systems. Especially recommended for portable CD players, reduces noise and hum caused by ground loops when using two or more audio components. And it just has like a diagram of audio component and then the ground loop isolator and audio component. And that's pretty much it. Um, it eliminated all that high pitch frequency. I'm happy with it. And I recommend looking into it if you're having the same issue, which I'm sure there are some people that are having this issue. I can't be the only one having this issue. Um, now, this one it says it's made for cars and stereos. Now, I looked on Amazon and read some reviews, and there's some that are made for cars that actually reduce the sound uh, that your speakers will make. This one, I haven't heard any reduction of the sound. It says it's made for home theaters and car stereos, so that could be the difference. I'm not sure. It was about, I think I paid like 11 or 12 bucks for it. It depends. You have to shop around. They, um, if you actually go to Radio Shack and get it, it's like 10 bucks, but then it's $5 shipping. And if I found other sites, it's like 20 bucks. It just depends on where you go. It's definitely worth looking into, and it's helped me out a great deal. So anyway, that's all I want to put for this video. Thanks for uh, tuning in. <laughs> Speakers are on. No high pitch frequency. I'm loving life right now. Thanks for watching.